All right. Kenman here. And today we have a returning Titan to the collection. Uh, this company's been good to me so far, and my new baby has arrived. Civivi? No. CJRB? No. Well, what, what, what is it then? I, I can tell you they are fast moving up to be maybe the third largest. That could be correct. Let's go. Before we start. I am not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others and playing with this bag, which I have a huge collection. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. Let's go, huh? Any guesses? What company is this? I've got several and we've got a new one. Here it is. Kubi! Bag on the floor. We have a new Kubi. Awesome. Excite bike. Aha, uh -huh. I tell ya. I've got several Kubis that I am quite happy with, and I was kind of looking. This one I kind of had my eye on for a little while, and let's go. Here it is. What do I need? Oh my god, how do I have to reach this far to get the pyrite? It's like uh, there's a bunch of other knives right there. Yeah, but I used the right to open the box look at this cut ready safe controlled pyrite action <laughs> got to bounce on the clothes though I'll tell you that does that count as a fail sure probably all right any kind of uh, guesses on the model that we got or did you read it when I had it flipped over Look at that. And with all Kubis, they've got this vacuum sealed bag, which is kind of cool that you basically have to cut that bag out. I had one where the box was soaking wet. It was raining. And I was a little worried that it was going to be wet because when I opened the box, I literally went like this and just tore into the box because it was so wet and gross and had melted. But it was a Kubi, and so it was in that package, and nice and dry. And look at the cool design of this. Today, we are looking at the Kubi Raven. Isn't it lovely? Oh, I love the design of this. Oh, what a cool shape. This is a Kubi Raven, huh? The Raven. Nevermore. All right. What are we looking at, Kenman? We have an Austen blade right there. It's got a nice uh, black coating on it. We have a G10 white scale. White die project. Yes. Uh, you know, we could leave this. This is really clean with this Stormtrooper look with the white and black. But we have the potential to dye this. Should I dye it? What color should I dye it? Comment below. I'm probably going to dye it. Yeah. All right. Kubi Raven. It has a liner lock right there. Flipper tab to open. Got a clip, kind of a small, looks like a slim clip, but it is a, a swappable clip. So for the lefties like myself, we're going to swap that clip to the other side. That's going to be great. We have that flipper tab, like I said. There's also this little hole for a finger flick action with that fuller. It's kind of neat. The fuller has this hole, but then it also has this little divot. You see that on both sides? Kind of comes up almost as a point and then has a little bit of a divot that doesn't go all the way through. Just an extra little accent, not really necessary. 
but it looks cool. Okay. That fuller hole works good. Uh, there's my fail. <laughs> Gotta do it. Gotta do it. I like the, the feel of this. The handle looks smaller than it is. Like it has like this. Uh, it's deceptive, I guess. When I look at this, it, it looks like this handle has a small profile. It's like it cuts into here and here. So it looks like the handle's only this long, but it's actually this long because it carries on the way the shape is it when it sits in your hand it, you force your index finger right there but it still has enough space you get all fingers kind of spread out there and you still got a little nub sticking out so it looks small but it feels large we've got some jimp bitty jimp 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 jimps micro jimps going on there but they look good they feel nice there's a little up sweep it's kind of interesting because this the handle kind of sweeps up, then has a little scoop scoop with the jimps in there, and it's kind of nice that your thumb kind of sits in that, or my thumb sits in that spot really nice. It feels good. A little dry. Blade is, <clears throat> excuse me, nice and centered, which is great. Flicks out, like I said, pretty easy. We're looking solid in all directions. The blade does not move. That is good stuff. Flipper tab. Flips good. Got to kind of shake it shut a little bit. I've got it kind of vertical here. I don't have a whole lot of space from here to here that I want to get to vertical whip right into my camera. But uh, it does have a decent little shut action, not bad. It, it is kind of a smaller fuller. You just saw my fail there. You kind of kind of make sure you get yourself in the right position when you do that flick. But it ain't bad. It ain't bad. What does everyone think of the shape and design of this Raven? Mm. I love this handle shape. It's just, it's... Uh, it's extreme or it's aggressive or the lines kind of they've got some movement to them I, I like it it's got a good feel action is nice the shape looks neat that handle is pretty cool it doesn't feel too heavy it feels like a smaller knife but it, it also seems longer I you know let's do it get that pyrite back out I like to use the CJRB Pyrite uh, as a comparison. It's a very popular, very common sized knife that most people are aware of uh, or know or have one or the size to get an idea. Um, this Kubi is a little bit longer on the handle for sure and it's about the same in the blade. So it's got it beat total length, maybe an inch longer, um, but maybe a half inch and a half inch on blade and the handle there versus the pyrite so it is a good size knife um, before I grab my kubis I'm going to grab this Migron Valona this is a kind of a comparable design with the black and white in my stormtrooper um, blades this Migron I really don't think that I'm going to dye this one I like the way this looks white this has got some great action oh, I just didn't even push it enough uh, that fuller works really good. It's a big knife though, and so it kind of dwarfs down the Raven a little bit. It's about just is the same amount larger than to the Raven as the Raven was to the Pyrite, with about a little bit of half inch or so on each side. Maybe not quite as much in the handle, um, but it is. I'd say this Raven is pretty close to a full size knife. Let's go ahead and grab that new CJRB frack. Ooh, that S90B. Mm. I love this knife. This is probably my new top, top dog. If you look at the size difference, the frack is a little bit bigger as well. I'd say the frack and the Migron were pretty close to the same size. Uh, you know, the only reason I'm doing a comparison with this frack is just so that I can get the frack out again. It is just a cool, cool titanium with that frag pattern. Great flick action. It's huge. I mean, mm, 
Love it. Love it. Okay, let's look at some Kubis. I her, her, uh, hijacked my videos plenty. Okay, let's go over here. We've got the Kubi Raven, my new one. We'll start it off with the one that started it all off, the Kubi Ruckus. This knife is awesome. I've got that copper bolster on there. It's got a front flipper. It's got a sweet action. It's got just a little bit of everything. I actually won this one on a giveaway. Smoky Mountain Knife Works SMKW was doing a giveaway for hitting 50,000 subscribers. And I entered that and won that knife. They shipped it to me. Super cool. And uh, that was my first Kubi. And since then, I've gotten several. And I love the brand. And I'm getting more. Here we are. This is the Kubi Elang. Boom. Look at the size of this thing. This is a really neat knife. I found this um, on the direct Kubi site. It also has a little front flipper that does work. I don't know if I was totally on camera there, but I got it. Um, but man, the size of this knife, it's a cool one. And I just, I don't really see that one out anywhere, the, the Kubi Ewang. It must be either just not as popular or not, or maybe it's a little bit newer, or uh, I don't know, but it, I've tried to see it, find it some other places, and it's just not as readily seen. Um, same thing with this one, the RDF. Got a little flick action, got a little button, got a little boom, look at this. Oh, there I failed it. I can flick that thing out. It's got that nice button right there. Kubi RDF. What a weird shape. This one, I ordered these two at the same time, direct from the company. Like I said, I, I didn't really see them anywhere else, but on their page, they had some interesting knives that I just wasn't uh, completely aware of and thought it would be cool to have in my collection and I'm quite happy I got them. All right, this is the Kubi Royal. Really nice little front flipper action right there. You can also flick this one out. This is one of those ones where you really got to get down low down here. See, I still, I missed that one. Um, but the front flipper does work really great. This one's a cool one. This is one of the ones I did in my die project. If you didn't know, I, I like to do uh, custom dies on knives. Bing. Um, that's a playlist. I've done about 18 of them so far. Um, it's been a good time. I have a lot of fun taking them apart and doing a little custom work. It's uh, neat and you get a lot of interesting new looks like this Titius. Kubi Titius. Hmm. Watch. See that? That's some action right there. Oh, it kind of got stuck at the end there, but yeah, it just this one drops really nice. The action gets better after you take them apart and dye them. I dyed this one red. I actually dropped it, banged it right there. You can see there's a little bit of white where it kind of chipped. Um, the dye doesn't really go all the way through, so if you chip it you can get it to show through whatever the true color was i think on jade that soaks into the jade a little bit more a little bit quicker versus the white this was a white g10 like this one here um, but it was only in that red dye for about two minutes and we got that it looks really nice you can do some touch-ups and fix that if you wanted or you can just let it be this is the thalia biggest front flipper action and the same thing with that uh, fuller. If you want to get in there, you got to get pretty low down there to get it to go. Um, but this front flipper is enormous on this one. Works great. See, I told you I'm getting some Kubis up in here. What does everyone think, huh? But I got another one. This is my favorite Kubi right now. This is the Femius. Ooh, look at the shape of that blade. It's just great. And it just drops shut. The flipper tab works good. It closes perfect. It flicks out perfect. Uh, tell me. That doesn't just make you happy. It makes me very happy. Oof, you could do it all day. Plus, the feel of this. That little up sweep. 
It's not the, the best for like EDC, the clip point shape for cut and stuff, but I love that shape. As far as looks, this is, this is one of my favorites. It looks just awesome. It's got that kind of aggressive kind of mm, versus something like this. Well, that one's a big one, but you know, like this EDC, the, where this tip is, little draw cuts and stuff are really controlled, really, really good to work with. Some tip like that, any of those. But uh, man, a clip point just looks rad. And this action on that is just stupid. Well, I think that is all my Kubis. Uh, I could be wrong, but if I'm missing one and you know of it, let me know in the comments. I think that's all of them. Do I have one that's dying? Oh, I have the Kubi Koyas, which is one that we're doing the marble die, which has been some exciting action. I've done a few videos. It's been... Here you can see the disaster one. Uh, yeah, it's been a mess. So I've been trying some different technique with that. And, uh, but where it's at now, it looks like it's going to work out. So pay attention for that video in the future. It looks like it's going to be good. Yeah. Cool. I've got a nice variety. These I, I are all the ones that I dyed. So those are some several different colors that are achievable with the dye. Um, some others that I've got. I've got like a yellow that I've done. Um, some other blues, orange, there's an orange one. Lots of colors with that dye. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's a good project. Uh, if you're interested in it, you can check it out. I basically am taking jade colored blades like this or white colored ones like this and giving them some custom look. It's, it's really fun. Having a good time doing it. Going to do it some more. Going to do it with this one. What color would you like to see it? Probably red. <laughs> Super dark red, I think, would be awesome with that. Man, my Kubis are growing, huh? That Elang barely fits. What's everyone feel about it? Wipe that off real quick. That little fingerprint. The Kubi Raven. Uh, dark, dark red and black would be pretty cool. Haven't decided yet. We'll be deciding soon, although it'll probably sit in the pile for a while, like most of them have. I've got some that I got for dyes over a month ago, and it takes me a while to figure out the color I want to do. There's another fail. Um, but once I do figure it out, I get pretty quick on it. Let's see, is there anything else I didn't talk about? This little labeling. I don't mind the Kubi logo on there. I like their little KB that they put on the pivot. It's a captive pivot, which is good. They've got the little designer logo on there. I think that might be a little much. Although, you got to give credit where credit's due. But sometimes just a simple little thing where they just have that, that name on there quick, and that's it. Uh, I, I like that. It's just simple. It doesn't distract from the knife as much versus a lot of branding kind of and sticks out and becomes no, more noticeable. And Well... Yeah, I found that it depends on the way you hold this. If you're holding it kind of weird, that that fuller is interesting. Eh, it works fine, though. Good knife. Happy about it. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button. And subscribe if you'd like to see some more. It helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. We will see you next time.